Hi, I'm Perry from Reach at Poles, and I want to talk with you today about what's going to happen with Easy Brush in 2017. Now what happened to me, I was actually visiting a window cleaner in America and they said to me this, they said, my guys like Constructor Brush, but we have this one guy and he's a, one of our best operators and he doesn't like Constructor Brush at all. And I said, why, like why? And he said, because the guy said it's too complex. Like I just want a simple brush. And I said, well, why don't you get an Easy Brush, right? Easy Brush is based on a broom style brush, up, down, up, down, cross, 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 rinse off the glass like this. So it's the same logic, but it's just improved. And he said, no, you just look at it, it looks complex. So he likes a broom style brush, dual trim, that just has two jets, or maybe four jets. Something that's simple, that he can just use over and over again. He doesn't want to think about what brush he uses to clean windows. He wants the universal brush. Now, we all know and acknowledge that the Tucker brush has taken the mark of being the universal 18 inch brush or the universal 11 or 12 inch brush, whatever they want to call it at the time. But it's got a great bristle and a great dual trim and a great layout. So what we did is that we made easy brush and the logic is that we wanted to improve a couple of points on a standard broom style brush. So I want to explain those for you. So let's assume that right now there's no need to improve the agitation of a broom style brush. We have a dual trim, we have a high quality bristle, and we have a certain bristle count. We are actually looking um, right now to increase our bristle count higher than the RHG Tucker brush and much closer to the Tucker Tucker brush, which has got about a 10 to 15% more bristle density. But we're looking at doing that right now. Now, what we want to do is talk about rinse. And with broom style brushes, you agitate on the glass and you rinse off the glass. So I want to show you what happens when somebody is using just a two jet brush. Oh, this is the improved version. Let me show you what it looks like with, for example, a two jet brush. Okay, so here are your two jets. This is still an easy brush, but we're just gonna use two brush jets to keep it simple. And what we saw with two jet brushes is this, that the guy, he's done his agitation, yeah, and he comes to rinse. So he takes the brush off the glass, and then he comes across here. Now, what I wanna show you is that at this point here, his eye is looking at the edge of the brush, yeah? And he sees, his brain tells him the edge of the brush is here. And when he comes across to this side, he gets to here, and his brain tells him the edge of the brush is here. But in fact, the jet is hitting the glass here. And on this side, the jet is hitting the glass here. So we have to train him to go past the frame and past the frame in order to rinse to the edges. But he may not be that aware. He may not have been trained. He may be on his second day of working or whatever. Now, it gets worse than that. What I'm going to explain to you right now is why traditional window cleaners get spots in the corners and down the sides of the glass. It's so simple. So your guy, he's rinsing like this, and he thinks that he's rinsed to here because his brain sees the edge of the brush here, but actually he's only rinsed to where the jet's hitting, and he's only rinsed to here, and that's why quite often you'll hear about and see people talking about spots down the outside edge of the window. Now, assume this guy then learns that he's got to go across the frames in order to get that full rinse. He still has this other one weakness, and that is the spots in the top corner. And that's for exactly the same reason. He comes across here, and he sees the brush is in the top corner, but he doesn't see where the jet is, which is missing the top corner. So there's a weakness between his natural intuition, intuitive cognition, whatever you want to call it, and his, the reality, and that takes training. Now, once he's trained, it's fine, but this is why it happens. So what we did is we said, you know, you don't need to use two jets, but you can with an easy brush. And similarly, you could plumb an easy brush with four jets. We recommend the use of six jets, and here's why. So when your operator is rinsing off the glass like this, with Easy Brush, when his eye sees the edge of the brush at the corner of the glass, 
the jet is squirting into the corner of the glass. And then he comes across this side, his eye sees the edge of the brush at the corner of the glass, the jet is squirting into the corner of the glass. So it makes complete sense that he will rinse to the edge and get the edge, rinse to the corner and get the corner. Now the only other one that we wanted to share with you is that the reason we put two jets on the outside so it makes it look more complex is that when you hit hydrophobic glass we know the water hits the glass and makes a shape like a little upside down teardrop and if the glass is incredibly hydrophobic then that shape is shorter and shorter and that determines how close you have to do your rinse lines when it's off glass rinsing you have to do your rinse lines closer and closer more and more time used up so if, when you're on hydrophobic glass, if you have two jets that are this far apart, which is like equal to the worst hydrophobic glass, then you know that instead of having a rinse depth like this, you'll have a rinse depth like that. And so therefore your rinse lines will be like this. And so in a sense, for the rinse function, even with easy brush, you're going to be twice as fast as you would be with a single line set of jets which is pretty much the typical water-fed brush for the last 30 years. So that is the explanation of Easy Brush. And just to let you know that we're coming out this year with an 18-inch and a 12-inch. We'll have a universal standard brush, which means that you can stay with Reach It and still have a broom-style brush for your window cleaning operators that really don't want to have to think about um, how they're going to increase their efficiency. Now for the rest of you, the guys who want to invest time, effort and money to clean windows faster, maybe two, three, four, five times faster, that's when we recommend Constructor Pro Brush. And it's because of Constructor Pro Brush and the Reach It Poles that professionals buy Reach It.